again, ignore how sick I sound. Mm. I'm trying to remember what we did a month ago. Okay, we gotta talk to our boss. That's what we're doing. But let's take a look around her her office again. Happy birthday to you. Oh, that song used to be copyrighted, you know? I'm pretty sure it is. Public domain, and I can sing it to my heart's content. Don't you love it? Luckily, I had today off of work. Where should I put old Jack here? I thought his name was Bill. What? Bill a lantern? I mean... You really can't stand time? Sounds good. Enjoy the lurk. Yeah, I just... <laughs> giving that heads up, because I listen to the audio and I... Definitely sound sick, but... I wanna, I wanna know what's going on in here. So the darts board has all these holes and the tip of the dart goes in, right? It's kind of sexual, don't you think? It's a dart board, boss. I do not understand. What is sexual about it? Then a pencil yeah. sharpener is sexual. Okay, I but it doesn't know. You know, the kanji for chair comes out to strange mushroom. Why? It makes me think of a man's strange mushroom, if you know what I mean. Seriously, is that the only thing you can think about right now? That's the only thing she can think of at any point in time. Just a computer on her desk. Yep, figured that. Map, okay. I sleep with a different one every night. Different poster? They're so fluffy. Oh, body pillow. She got seven body pillows? Where are you gonna put all of those? Did you ever used to play with these rulers like a gun when you were in elementary school? We didn't have know. them. I don't have any memories from back then, remember? Oh, wait, we can click that one one more time. <laughs> I think, honestly... Consider it a good luck charm. So you don't drown when you sink. Okay, well, you want to know what? How is that going to do in this world when sinking is a weird dude? Unless if she was just making a pun on... The word sink, I guess. Grandpa. Answer me, Grandpa. <sighs> we have been... Merry Christmas. Worried about... Her. It's November. So it's almost Christmas! It is almost Christmas. Once you get past Thanksgiving, did it tell us what day it was? Big catch. I can't believe it's not a raccoon. I can't believe it's not what? butter. It's not a raccoon? I've been wondering. Oh, I thought we were done with her things Which about- balls are bigger? Yours? Or this soccer ball? The soccer ball, obviously. Because both of these remind her of her exes. If only money rained down from the sky. Mario, what's going on in your mind? <sighs> if only I could control you with a remote. Make you do this, make you do that. Why just, why me? Shells. Do we miss anything? Mm hmm. Oh, I'll talk to her after. Like, just the amount of horniness in this office is off the charts. Those cannot be filled with whips. Wine bottles. Oh my god. 
Okay. I'm gonna end up sneezing a lot today, but... Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, the rug. Under no circumstances are you allowed to look under this rug. Do you understand? What is under there? What have you got under there? One of these days, we will look under the rug. One of these days. Hmm... Oh, is Iba on the... Oh, she is. Okay, about the fishery. I have done some research. That's where As we... The name suggests, the company is owned by the Okiuras. That's where we saw... Oh my god, I can't remember her name. Um... The... The streamer. The same Okiuras we know. Renju's father created the company. Another connection to Renju. Okay. No, actually. Currently, Okiura Fishery has nothing to do with Renju. Why not? The company has been managed by office representatives for the past 17 years after Renju's father died. Oh, Renju they didn't... holds no shares and is not involved in the management. They didn't they didn't give in it short, to Renju? Renju did not inherit wow. the company from his father. And it was instead given to other persons. Jeez. But it can't be a coincidence. Uh, maybe it, it can. It is suspicious. Okay, yeah, wait. I but what else here? I would suggest searching the warehouse again. You uh -huh. may be able to discover why Iris was- Iris. That's her name. Okay. That, yeah, that's where we saw Iris. Mizuki went to Bloom Park three nights ago. She was prompted by a Nile message from Renju. Mm-hmm. Please come to Bloom Park's merry-go-round right away. I'm... There are three possibilities. One, Renju killed Shoko, or was an accessory to the That's murder. too easy. Two, Renju was threatened or blackmailed into- That Mizuki seems likely. Him. Three, the culprit used Renju's phone to send the Nile message. That also sounds very likely. I don't, n number one doesn't sound, it sounds too easy. You give no spoilers, yeah, no spoilers. We're just vibing through it. We're on day four. Um, you love this game? It's it's fun, it's horny and detective-y. In any case, <clears throat> the motive is still unknown. We need to talk to Renju. But we can't find him, right? You asked Mama at Marble for information regarding Renju Okiura, correct? It is possible she may have something for you by now. That is true, so we can go back and see her. We can talk to Iris's mom as well. Mm. She was Renju's classmate, right? Just because she's classmates, I don't think she would Iba know told me about her. where she's at. Okay, dream change in reality. It is absurd. Not possible. Dreams are figments of the imagination. An incident which took place entirely in your mind cannot have any bearing on the real world. That is preposterous. But, Iba, maybe if you think... Consider it. It's a possibility? If you find money in your dream, does your bank account balance go up in reality? Possibly. If you were to be attacked by aliens in your dream, does a swarm of UFOs invade Earth? I did have a dream like that when I was younger. But at the warehouse, I... You must have been hallucinating. No, I don't think so. And it sucks then that I... Stadium, you saw Iris's frozen corpse. Was not able. She needed to be charged. It is affecting your mental state. Hmm. Just as last night you were so just as the ladies do. Speak. Just as the ladies do. If it bothers you to this degree, why not go talk to Iris? Okay. Sounds good. Maybe not right after I finish this one, but I will. Possibly I still have like Golden Sun 2 to play. Um there was another sequel game I was supposed to be playing. I wanna play the Uncharted. Oh, The Last of Us Part 2. 
cell phone is on. I can trace her via GPS. She is currently somewhere in the Lemniscate building. Okay, so she's back to work. Oh, there's nothing else for Okay, what about the boss? About some Stranger things prophetic to happen. dreams. Two days ago, Date found Iris's frozen corpse in Mizuki Somnium. Yes. This is a lot of stuff happening a prophecy. in such a short amount of time. Boss. There's a lot of stuff in this world that can't be explained by science. See? Not having beliefs is what she believes in. You know? I'm with it. Okay, about so. Congressman Sejima is suspicious in more ways than one. He's a congressman, yeah. Exhibit A. Three days ago, so-called Shoko Nadami's phone. Yes. I still don't know exactly why. And he won't tell us. He only told us it was meant to be private. Exhibit B. So Sejima was at Okiura Fishery Warehouse last night. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the last thing that we did was we questioned this but man. He didn't inform us of this. There must be something he doesn't want us knowing. And we went in his sink? Exhibit C. So was an Iris's Somnium. Dreams are constructed from memories. Uh... Yet the good congressman denies he ever knew Iris. Maybe he watches her stream. Maybe is that like... Ah, uh, what is... A set. That's her. Maybe he has an A set figure figurine somewhere. I think he's back home, I sent right? Him home yesterday. Yeah. You released him? What was I supposed to do? I don't think we, we had can't anything hold him without solid yeah. proof. Exactly. What we saw with Iris hasn't happened yet. Yet? In any case, we have to speak with him again. Okay. Let's a let's ask her about Dreams changing and reality. Iris insomnium. And that changed the history of the real world? Yes. Hmm. Well, I guess it's not possible. See, Iba? That isn't what you said yesterday. Things change. That was then, this is now. A woman's mind changes with the phases of the moon, you know. Does the face of the moon change every night? No, it doesn't. Anyway. I believe in Date. Aww. I trust him more than anyone else in Abyss. Aww. Thank you. You don't care for zombie type stuff? The Last of Us was really good. Um, well, I like the game, but it is, it is a lot of zombies. They do be changing their minds. They do all the time. And should people change their mind? There are four people I should talk to. Okay. So Sejima, Iris and Hitomi Sagan, and Mama. And I need to check the warehouse one more time. We have many avenues of investigation. So we got places to moving. go today. We got places to go. I do think let's go check in on our lady, right? Let's go check in on her, her mom, make sure everything's all fine. Uh, well, the game crashed. Okay. So, let's see. How many... So, we're on day four. How many days are there in total? Does it... Oh, it remembered our input? Okay, Monday. Doesn't give us a date. I apologize for yesterday. I don't remember what happened I yesterday. Invited. No, I'm grateful. She arrived where? Thanks to you, Mizuki has her voice back. Oh, oh, to to our place. Mizuki no, was there. I didn't do anything. And that's that's her teacher. Do you remember the exact number now? Okay, there's a lot of days, so we're only on day four. All right. She's sitting on the sofa with a nice cup of tea. Uh, she also made me tea as well. How to handle a monster parent. A 
self-help book. But that wouldn't be for her, right? A blue moon winter iris. I don't know that. Looks like a nice day today. A nice Monday. I've been wondering about that picture. Iris drew it when she was 12. That's you on the left and Iris in the middle, correct? Uh-huh. Yes. And who's on the right? Who is it? The man I was dating at the time. It was only for three months, but... Mm, but Iris was attached. I met him about six years ago. Have you been to the Kume Shrine in the Minato district? No. I was praying there one day, and I heard a voice. Uh-huh. More like a groan. Behind the shrine, I saw a man sitting on the ground. He was bleeding badly from his stomach. I took out my phone to call an ambulance, but... Oh, she saved his life? I my wrist, and he held me, and then... He... I was shocked, but... Mm. Ma'am, and you dated him? Then I heard footsteps, and then a bunch of men yelling. They were looking for him. When the voices and footsteps faded... He let me go. Don't call an ambulance. And don't call the cops. What? I knew he had to be a criminal. So I took him to an underground clinic I knew. You took him to a mob doctor? Why? Renju's friend. I only met him once. And then she knew him for six years and then dated for three months. Oh my, that sounds so toxic. We don't question we don't question it. It's fine. People people can have their mob doctor know their mob doctor contact contacts. Uh you good to remember the last few minutes? Wait, what do you mean? Even though we had our first kiss seconds after meeting each other, it took a long time before I got to see him again. Six years? The first time we held hands was when we watched a horror movie together. And the first time I took his arm was when we went to a haunted house. Oh, and they went on dates. But I wasn't the one who grabbed him. A zombie jumped out and scared us. And he clung onto my arm. Aww. He had that cute side to him. And I was falling in love. But you didn't ask him about his past? <laughs> Our second kiss was in the car. It's cliche, I know. But we drove around at night, looking at all the lights. We parked our car near a warehouse and kissed. But I don't think we ever said I love you. I in three months? I hope not. We, both knew. we were getting closer and closer. Why'd y'all break up? I introduced him to Iris about a month after I first met him. So Iris knew him for Oh wait, wait, a month after she first met the guy. Iris never had a father figure in her life before. <gasps> wait, so he got Wait, no, no, I'm confused. She said she knew him for six years before they dated, or am I? She warmed up to him immediately and treated him like a real dad. Because then either Iris would be six at the time that they met, and then only knew him for three months, or Iris met him when she was twelve and she was eighteen, so he recently died. From then on, it was always the three of us together. For three months. We would go to the beach, the river, the zoo. She said she met him six years ago. That she knew him six years. Mmm. Okay. She did say it was a little while since they had talked again. Going to barbecues with another person was a new experience for me and Iris. Family barbecues. Felt so fresh. Every day was so exciting. Then what happened? Oh, sorry. You asked about the picture. Yeah, you are answering. He wanted to make okonomiyaki one day. He was working with the hot plate. Mm -hmm. It was ridiculous. He was trying to flip one, and it flew up in the air and landed right on my head. Oh. I never saw the whole thing and laughed and laughed. And then and drew a picture. Like that in a long time. I was having so much fun that I put an okonomiyaki on their heads, too. Slop, slop. I added the bonito flakes and mayo and sauce. Very messy. Point, there was no going back. Eggs flew, flour going everywhere. The room was not a pretty sight. 
After our battle, we laughed like crazy. Oh, at least y'all had fun. around on the floor. So Iris decided to draw it. Yeah. Nostalgic. Makes sense. I mean, if Iris was 12 at that point. <gasps> what happened? Six years ago, in November, a man with a gun broke into our house. Fortunately, Iris wasn't home at the time. But my boyfriend was. And that's why the gunman came. He wanted to kill him. He wanted to kill him and he would never stop. So those are probably the people that went, okay. He pulled the trigger. I tried to protect him. The bullet hit me, but the police arrived. Oh, so the guy's fine? They were both arrested and- Oh. So is that her boyfriend or is that the guy that wanted him dead? Why was he after your boyfriend? Before he met me, he committed some terrible crime. He was still a criminal. I don't know the details, but it was awful. So he became a target for underworld criminals. I don't know exactly why, but I know that he betrayed them in some way. Uh, see, that's... May I ask you something? That's a lot. That's a lot. He committed handholding before marriage. That's why. That's why everyone was. Have you figured out who the killer is? No, Zach. I have not. How goes it? I had heard that that incident was a. But we know. We we learned about her toxic ex. Oh. That's. I lied about it at the time, because of Mizuki. She lied about what? Mizuki is Iris's friend. Uh huh. If she found out, Iris would find out too. I didn't want Iris to know. Know what? That I was dating a criminal. Oh my. It was her father figure. <laughs> Iris looked up to him. So she met him six years ago, but he also died six years ago. So their dating of three months was in the span of that year. And Iris warmed up to him. If she found out about his past. If she found out about his past, what? She would know that men are shitty? Yes. They are. And also, she would know that her mom had a thing for bad boys. She probably wouldn't have liked him as much. But that's fine. She should know the truth. Honestly. Um, but Iris isn't- Iris isn't here. A lot of dishes. Uh, the microwave. Where's Ivas? Dante, a riddle. <gasps> riddle time. A man eating alligator lives in a river. There are no bridges or boats. Mm -hmm. How do you cross? Across the river? Let's see. You jump across? Wrong. The solution is simple. You just swim across. What about the man-eating alligator? He's at a convention out of town. Good one, Iba. Good one. Good one. Refrigerator. Dining room table. Mm. Shoe box. Why can't we ask her about the mysterious object? Um, probably in a future day we can. Lights are off. Because it is daylight outside. It hits you in the heartstrings. Oh. I don't think I've cried. Yet. Does that mean I'm gonna cry? Oh, uh, it's Monday. Oh. <laughs> Today's a holiday. I suppose there's never a day off for a detective. Oh, but you aren't a detective, right? Technically, yes. But I still deal with crime. I see. Today is a holiday. What holiday? I forgot too, Hitch. So, where is- but then where is Iris? I put Iris through so much. I was 19 and single when she was born. 
Uh huh. People didn't take kindly to that. But Iris was such a fighter. She mm. always protected me. So I remember cute. one time at the nursery, some of the other mothers were talking about me. Iris ran up to them and said, Don't talk about my mommy. <laughs> I'm supposed to be the mother, but it's Iris who's always protecting me. Hmm. It's a holiday for adults, so that still means that kids wouldn't be in school. But I guess Iris doesn't go to school. Oh, she's at the um, Lemnus Gate, right? Okay. They died when I was 17. Oh, fuck. I was an orphan, and my relatives lived far away. They might have taken me in, but I was already in my second to last year of high school. It wasn't a good idea for me to move that late. So I decided to stay here by myself. Wow. Take care of Iris. Yes. All alone. Damn. But friend you would help sometimes. <laughs> About Iris. It was always just me and her. Uh huh. Vacations, barbecues, zoos, amusement parks. Oh, that reminds me. Sorry. She's talking a little. When Iris was five. Oh, a little too there slow. Was a children's theater show on Bloom Park. Okay. It's called Milky Moon. It was about girls as magical space rangers and such. She loved singing and dancing. Even as a kid, mm -hmm. whenever she heard music, her body would start moving. It was a quirk of hers. She got that dancing and gene. She did it at the show too. Toward the end, when all the Milky Moon girls were dancing to the end of the song. The Milky Moon girls just sounds so weird. Iris climbed up onto the stage and danced with them. But no security? grabbed her arm and tried to get her to sit but before I knew it she was up there dancing Aww. even I was dancing by the end of it just letting her live her life she had the biggest smile on her face mama you're a good dancer that's the kind of girl she was okay well, what else are we gonna learn about Iris right now whenever she sees someone playing music on the street she'll run up and join them right then and there music at the train station Crosswalk weeping. Even at convenience stores, when their little chime played, she would start dancing. I think just a lot of Almost kids do that. Trouble once. Oh. She was on the jungle gym and a truck drove by. The ice cream truck? She was playing loud music out the windows. Oh. She climbed up to the top and started dancing. <sighs> but she lost her balance and fell. She fractured her leg pretty badly. Oh it was on a God. Sunday, and it was hard to find an open emergency care. I was carrying her on my back, running and running through town. I could still hear her crying. Will I still be able to dance, Mommy? Can I still dance? She cried and cried into my shoulder. Oh, it was she... the only time she ever cried so much. She, she recovered. Uh, you know, uh, that's not true. There was one other time. That she cried? What was the other time? Six years ago. I was the victim of a shooting. After the surgery, Iris came in running. Oh. She was sobbing. Dad. <gasps> Mommy, don't die! Don't die! <laughs> Please don't well, die! Well, this was Bobby. this was after the surgery, right? Don't die! <laughs> I'm gonna guess Iris was twelve. I swore to myself then. I would protect her, no matter what. Mm -hmm. Kids being so needy, wanting a live parent. No, okay, I thought that was after she had had her surgery and she was, like, recovering. I was like, mm, that makes sense, but... Okay, just before she went under, yeah, if you're, like, 12, you might not understand that, that concept. Iris is everything to me. More important than my own life. Oh. <laughs> After you talking about your your daughter here, uh, where's Renju? You asked me that yesterday. There's no point in hiding it. Right from the hospital? I'm yeah. sorry. I have no idea. Summarize for me. I love Doctor, this. We can't spend time reminiscing. What? We have to get moving. Yeah, let's go. So I'm, uh, yeah. why does it give me the option to summarize when you're not even going to let me? 
Oh, French for I am. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was like, mm. I don't know who said it. Um, let's go check on Iris and Lemonscape. It wanted to get my hopes up. It did. It did. Okay, luckily it loaded up fine. I am so aggro right now. Okay, what? You lost in your Minecraft? What's the game that she plays? Yeah, how is the same quote auto-generated out of all the quotes? Why? Shovel Forge. Yes. Okay, sorry. Craft Mine. Craft Mine the Shovel Forge. Forge Shovel isn't a game, right? Shovel Knight. Who says that? Teenagers. Why are you angry? You backed out on your shovel forge promise. Oh. I didn't make any promises. You promised me a date, though. I did go to your house. And you weren't home. Two minutes before midnight. And you didn't even take me anywhere. Yeah, because we only had two minutes. Oh. Did we go? We could have gone somewhere. We could have gone out for like. Ice cream sundays. Iturup, Kunashir, Shikotan, Habomai? I guess Absolutely not. Someplace with a view. Then you should have come earlier. Well, uh... I know I was worried about not going on a date with her. I felt like she just wasn't wasn't home, but I guess she was home. Right in office back there. Oh my god. <laughs> the quotes. Oh, okay. It's Who's that? Oh, Shinsen Chatran. Who's that? Oh, okay, well. Dante, look, it's a terrafella camelifolia. Look! Yay! Yay! Go, terrafella camelifolia! What? Oh, I thought, it, I, thought, I thought she was talking about a plant. Do we have the receptionist ending? Uh, no, the receptionist is right here. Okay, let's just ask her where Renju is. I want to too. We've been looking for him. Okay. We've been getting so many calls, it's hard to keep up with. Well. Um, why? So that way, if you hear from him, you can tell me. He may lead to something in the future. Oh, she's got a stretch. Hmm. I don't know. Date, we're on an investigation. And if Renju calls, then we would know. Just let me have this. Right out of your eye socket if you don't stop. Oh my. So how is I'm serious. I'm going to pop out. Are you? Oh wait. She did. What? But I couldn't let that happen, so I decided not to ask her for her information. What? Why is everyone fainting the end of the story? That's not that... Why would that be the end? Alright, let's get our horny out right now. I like guys that like New Guinea fruit bats and yellow spotted neck turtles. I... Cannot even picture that. That's very specific. Do I have to go get a biology book now? Um, I'm five four. Okay. That is clearly not what you meant. But she answered. <laughs> so it's when you first meet her. Like it? It's called the 
Tradition and shagging a common dandy. Wow, I don't see it at all. Yeah, we're, I guess, super early in the game. I think I've only played for like seven, eight hours. I should lose some weight. Why does it talk about the I sofa? So fat. Oh, jeez. I was like, I didn't say anything about weight. What's over here? How to make it. Uh, okay. Well, I guess that's it. Well, it's a high table. Date, I don't understand. You want me to say hi to this table? Do we just mumble under our breath? That's not what I said. Okay, well, we talked to... Yeah, nothing on the desk. Okay, Iris, what have we got going on? I saw your body. Have the day off? Off? Yeah, from school. Oh, yeah, it's a holiday. Mm -hmm. So I decided to come to Lemnus Gate. Okay. We're going to do a recording for a show soon. Okay. I oh. know you were mad about our date, but we're supposed to take her on date on a date day two or day three. Why was your phone off? The receptionist looked and was like, mm, "Girl, why was your phone off?" I couldn't get a hold of you. Oh, she had that stream at 1 a.m., 2 a.m., whatever, and someone came to her, the late night visitor, yes. Last night around 2 a.m., someone visited you. Okay. Who was it? Iris. And you left the house as well. Where did you go? You really want to know? Did you go on another date? Yes. And you'd do anything for the answer. Yes. All right then. Shovel Forge. Oh my. No. Then go on a date with me. Again, no. But you owe me for yesterday. Okay, it was I day you three. I get a hold of you. Yeah. Objection. What was Even wrong with your phone? You did get a hold of me. You didn't want to see me anyway, right? No. Until you fulfill your promise, I won't tell you anything. Then why don't oh. we go on a date right now? We go on at well, what's their drinking age in Japan? If we took her to the bar where Mama's at, couldn't we take her on a date and also get information? Anyway, where's Renju? What about him? A traffic accident? Yes. I'm worried. Any idea where he could have gone? I'm sorry, no. It's 16? Okay, so then yeah, she should... We can go. I she can go with TV. us. Ever met him? Why does this sound like K.K. Slider music? No. Oh, not so she all. hasn't met him. No, not at all. Iris, promise you won't laugh. saw something at the cold storage warehouse last night. What? You! Your dead body. <laughs> I told you not to laugh. But, come on, Date. I'm alive. I'm right here. Look, I can jump around. Woohoo! Stop, I'm serious. Look, the receptionist was clapping because she could jump. Why are we having this conversation right in front of the receptionist? And the receptionist says she's been getting calls all day, but I haven't seen her take a call once. In my dream, I saved you from being killed. Actually, I but did. Here you are. Which is why I was like that when I went to your house yesterday. Oh, okay. We were shocked to see her still alive. Sorry. There's no point in telling you all this. No, it's fine. 
sorry for laughing. I just didn't know what was up with you. You know? I believe you, Date. She believes that we saw her dead body. Maybe you were in a parallel world or something. Oh. Another bizarre explanation. Huh. So, what are we doing? What do you mean? For a date? For a date, of oh. course. Go on a date, don't go on a date? It's... It's a Saturday night. Why, well, technically it's a Monday afternoon for the game. Fine. Hey, wait a minute. But the receptionist is happy. It's Monday morning. Yay! So you'll play Shovel Forge with me? Do you know if we gotta play video not. games? Ah. So we'll go on a date then. <sighs> yes. Deal. And you have to honor our agreement this time. Of taking you on a date? I can't believe it. Oh, but we can't go right away. Why? I have a recording coming up. Oh. I should be done by three, though. So we have. We're starting soon. Got it. So Date, meet me back here at three. If you ditch me, I will be beyond furious. Fuck. Why do I feel like we're gonna fuck this up anyway, too? Bye for now. Peace. <laughs> All right, she's There's getting. No point remaining here. Let's get moving. Oh my god, but don't sound so disappointed in me. Uh, let's go check out. Is the bar the bar's called marble? That's where mom is at, right? Mm -hmm. You need more info on Ren? Absolutely. I'm sorry to waste your time, but I don't have anything for you. Ooh. I see. Well, that's unfortunate. You're so cold, Mama. Hey, I'm over here. Okay, a refrigerator. With the music, bottles of alcohol. <laughs> Menu and the bar counter. All right, what else have we got here? Hey, Dante, you know what I say when I turn into a drunk devil? Dev Ale. Wow, okay. Also, only two beer taps. There's only two beer choices. TV. Care to watch some riveting videos with balls and holes? I, Sorry, I don't like golf. We'll pass. We'll pass on that. What do we have over here? Just a normal table. <laughs> I'll pass on the balls and holes, thank you. A <laughs> stool. Taxi drives her. Looks like a poster for something. A flyer. Oh, the black room with the specials? Hey, yeah. Mama, what's with the pizza, fish, and chips? People used to call me that on the internet all the time. Guess it's stuck. Pizza, fish, and chips. Ah, I see. Oh. Piece of fucking shit. <laughs> oh my. This, Can I? however, appears to be a simple Italian pizza with fish and french fries. On on it as the pizza toppings? Oh, we don't get any context for the picture. Okay. Are you always Brushing that fish? Is that what she's doing? I find it calming. Why is that? Don't ask me. Oh, I don't think I have to sneeze. How's it going? Well, I could use a little help down there, if you know what I mean. I do not know what she means. 
Perhaps you should take her up on her offer. If you don't know, I won't. Why are you offering my assistance? Unless if I was just curious. You know about Renju and the Kumakura gang, right? I believe she yeah, told us about no, that. I heard it from his own mouth right here. Okay. Do they have anything to do with the talent scandal at Lemniscate? Ooh. Maybe now they do, since Renju is the president of Lemniscate. But even before that, Renju and the Kumakuras go way back. All the way back to what, high school. What, what scandal? What's the scandal? Hey, Dante. Have you ever seen a dead body? Why would you ask her like that? You're a policeman. I don't know what department, but I assume you aren't handing out traffic tickets. Maybe we are. Okay. So, how about her? What about you? I, we could just drop the conversation. Well, yeah. Who's dead body? Not just one. Who's dead bodies? Countless bodies. When I was in high school, I had a pretty crazy job. You know the Kumakura gang? I was hooked up to one of their phone fraud scams. Mm-hmm. I just had to go collect the money from drop points and give it to the Kumakuras. What a high school experience. It was an easy job. Eventually, I became friends with the higher-ups. They started taking me with them on jobs. What jobs? Murder the jobs. Was always an elderly person from the country with no family. Elderly folk who owned a lot of land, you know? Oh, jeez. Every day in loneliness and desperation. You just have to be nice to them. That's all it takes. To murder them? This would get to know the old people and they would set up an adoption process. After that, you just have to get them really drunk. Throw them in the tub full of hot water. And they pass. Just like that. What? Heart attack, brain hemorrhage, or they simply go to sleep and drown. The police almost never investigated. It always looked natural. Like they died of old age. So the adopted gang members would inherit the land. Then we sell it and make this man. Profits. I watched a lot of people get killed like that, and I've seen journalists get killed for getting too close to the truth. Oh, so I, I, why am I telling you all? Because this? you're drunk, and I don't know what other reason. going to arrest me why do you say it like that you didn't do it yourself right no I was always the lookout but still but Dante, wouldn't I... he be an accomplice at that point that was a big ice cube ball oh wow I don't have anything else for you. Thank Sorry, you. I'm not much help. No, don't worry about it. Can you come back again tonight? For no, no I got a busy a day. Here who was good friends with Ren. <gasps> Yo, yes. They should be here tonight. If you ask him, he might have some information for you tonight. Yes. On a Monday I'll night? Be for you. I don't. I don't know. Let's see if he's back at his house. We still gotta keep track of the time for our date. 3 p.m. So Sajima is a key person of interest in this case. Yes. Earlier, the boss cited three points of suspicion against him, and I agree with her assessment. She did say three I things. The call logs of So's phones. Congressman Sajima has one phone under his name, and a burner phone rented under a fake name. Did you find anything interesting? Unfortunately, no. And he called... Really? On his but not burner one? I looked into So's secretary's phone. 
Okay. One call in particular stood out to me. To who? Huh? It was one week ago. From Fuju Prison. <gasps> the caller identified themselves as inmate number 89. Number 89? So we're gonna have to go to the prison next? Yes. This is most likely the same person who called HQ. Oh, the one that said that. Yeah. Thank you for that flashback. I do remember. That was like on day two. When you crash, the first thing you hit is the dash. No, you would hit the wheel first. At least if you're driving. I guess if you're in the passenger, room, then yeah, that would. You'd be correct in that. This box is where you keep your doves. It's not a dove box. Does anyone actually keep gloves in the glove box? We can't look that way. Center console. Uh, what's he in jail for? What do you know about? Oh. He is serving a life sentence for multiple counts. He was in prison six years ago. <gasps> six years ago? From what I can determine, he is an assassin. Okay, so probably... Probably the boyfriend. He accepts jobs from the criminal underworld for substantial rewards. Oh, it's either the boyfriend or the one who is trying to kill His the boyfriend. Falco. Falco. That's the best name he can come up with? Correct. <gasps> My heart? Unknown. You don't know? He is not registered in any databases. He could be a foreigner or recent immigrant, but it would be impossible to determine from where. Okay. However, I did not detect any accent in his speech. I believe we can conclude that he grew up in Japan. Mm hmm. Unknown. You would have to ask Mr. Sejima for that information. He's not going to give us that information. Said he knew who killed Shogo. He did. But that may be a lie. I Does don't he know. have any connections to the Cyclops serial killings? Unknown. In all honesty, I have no idea. Why do I feel like we have Number 89. no knowledge? Should we visit Fuchu Prison? No, we don't have time. There's always tomorrow. Call up boss. Tell her to request that number 89 be brought to a base. <gasps> Roger. Ooh. So we'll be able to interrogate and talk to him, maybe sync up with him later on tonight. I heard there was no body found at the cold storage where. I heard you're a piece of shit. Isn't your investigation over? I have a look. A merman. So is a wealthy politician. It is no surprise to me that he has a merman. No. Oh, Wait, my. a merman? <laughs> oh my god, is there actually a merman in there? Gardens, what kind do you prefer? I like a well manicured lawn. But some bushes aren't bad either. I mean, what? Iba doesn't know. Iba doesn't know. A spherical bush. Not a mochi. Wonderful. Write that down in our. Garden stone. Uh, imagine the work to keep these spherical. Like, I know he doesn't do the yard work himself, but like, ugh. Why? What else do we have here? Mansion stone.
Does this man have any kids? I feel like as a politician, we should know that. He has, does he have a wife? We don't know much about him. Can we ask him that? But Iris, let's How start off easy. Do I, have to tell you? I don't know that girl. Mm. I've never seen her before. Date. I knew he was lying. So, but she doesn't know this him. Proves it. I am having difficulty determining his motive for lying. After all, Iris was not killed. Maybe he's got a secret with her. He doesn't want us knowing. But she doesn't. She said she doesn't know him either. So. Why were you at the warehouse? What were you I doing over you, there? I will not answer that question. Why not? And why not? We didn't find anything there. There's nothing to hide. Exactly. It appears that he will not respond. What a bitch. Why'd you call Shoko? Again, you he's gonna... To well, you wanna know what? Just what answer you to to the about? damn question. What is the private matter you mentioned? What is your relationship with her? That's a lot of questions. I'll answer your questions when you present a warrant. Look at that sunlike face. <sighs> okay. Number 89. Who is that? An inmate at Fuchu Prison. He used to go by Falco. Uh -huh. He was an assassin. Odd, finding such a person in Japan. What about him? About a week ago, he called your secretary. I don't know anything about that. Hmm. He was probably calling for a pardon or some such nonsense. My secretary probably decided it wasn't worth my attention. Can we talk to your secretary? Information you can ask. Oh. I can't help you. Okay, where is she? Haven't you people got enough? Got enough what? I'm very busy. Excuse me. Oh, actually, I do have one more thing to tell you. To be honest, Kaname Date, I don't like you. I don't ever want to see you. Well, you probably will. We're only on day four, sir. So I suggest that you don't show your face here anymore. It's what's best for both of us. Understand? Oh, is he gonna threaten us? Who does this guy think he is? A politician. Date, your blood pressure is skyrocketing. Any higher could kill you. <sighs> you know? Relax, Date. How would I relax you after that? Much to do. I know, I know. Maybe we should have done this last. <laughs> we still gotta make sure it's before three o'clock. It's still Monday, okay. I looked around, nothing changed, okay. You first arrived here yesterday at 9 p.m. Yes. At that time, lying on this workbench was... Iris's, Iris's body. Dead body. Covered with a white cloth. Mm -hmm. But the second time... The corpse was gone. It was 11.25 p.m. But the body could not have simply vanished. I don't know. A lot of things I could happen. The investigation was here before 11.25 p.m. When did they arrive? Was I at 9.30? Oh, 10.30. Okay. After we finished sinking with so. It took them an hour and a half to get here? Yeah. Correct. Why did it take them so long? Unknown. I think that's Iba's favorite word. Unknown. The report does not specify. Perhaps a result of outside influence. Outside influence? In any case... There is nothing of note about the bench. Okay. Examining it will not reveal any further information. Okay. I just wanted to click A it. A switchboard. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. So are we looking for something out of, of the ordinary? Nothing seems out of the ordinary. Nothing on it. There are only a few items on the shelf. Uh -huh. It is likely that this warehouse isn't in regular use. Yeah. But what would it be a warehouse for? A crane on the ceiling. 
Nothing has changed. Okay. A forklift. It doesn't seem like it's in use. It was likely just left here. Uh, that is fair. I'm clearly frozen because. There okay. are numerous cardboard boxes on the shelves. Mm -hmm. There's nothing abnormal about them. How do you know? Look in, we can look inside of them. Is there some? Oh, this this is fallen over. I'm Jermaimon. Iba, the jokes have got to stop. It doesn't have magical pockets, though, would it? I don't. Is there something we're supposed to be looking at? Shelves, shelves. Oh, ice cutting machine. Okay. That machine is used to cut ice. Mm-hmm. Do they store ice here? Oh. It's a wooden box. There is nothing inside. Did I really miss that box this whole entire time? But finding nothing may, in fact, be something. What do you mean? I, don't I was think just so. thinking out loud. I have a what? Let's keep going. Date, your temperature is dropping. At this rate, they might find your body in here. Because it's cold in here. Was that box really here that whole time? <gasps> it's 2.49. They finally gave us a time. We're gonna be late to the fucking date. I took care of what you asked for. Okay. Number 89? He's here. Where? In the interrogation room. Oh. I'm on it. You'll go without me this time. I have some errands to run. One of the higher ups needs me. Uh huh. I'll have Pewter go to the interrogation with you. Understood. I don't care for Pewter. Okay. Is this a man that we saw in the dream? Oh. Stop it. Let's get started. That's in the middle of the room. I really don't think there's anything near. Nice, we got a nice little camera right there. Also, I guess another camera. Here we go. Yeah, so. Let's, uh, let's see what this man has to say. What's your name? Number 89. What's your... Your real name. Government I don't name. Oh, I forgot. Uh, that didn't sound convincing, sir. Where are you from? Djibouti. Northeast Africa. A small republic of roughly 900,000. I don't take kindly to stupid lies. Hmm. I feel like asking how many people have you killed is... Oh, you know about that. Okay, so he did call? It's true. I called Sejima's secretary. But for why? I got him on the line and I told him something very important. Okay, he told us he didn't talk to you, you spoke though. spoke with him directly? Yeah. What did you tell him? I told him to call somebody. Somebody? That was a week ago. Who's somebody? I can't tell you anymore. Why? I guess we have how many people have we killed? 
It's not like I'm counting. About right. the murder. Let's get back to the topic at hand. Two days ago, you called our investigation office. Mm-hmm. You said you know who killed Shoko Nadami. That's right. Who? Hey, don't be so hasty. Why not? We haven't agreed on a deal. You're gonna let me out of prison, right? Yes, I promise. If <laughs> you're correct. You're you don't want to release me. That's fine. I was expecting this anyway. Okay. I just wanted a good excuse to leave the prison. What do you mean? So he doesn't know. You really want to know? Here's what I mean! Oh, he's gonna flip the table. What the heck did he just do? You'll make a good hostage for me. Oh. Take me to the exit. Now. Oh, he took my gun. 